Welcome to Crafting in Lotro. Let's get to it. All right, folks. So when it comes to crafting in Lotro, it can be fun and also quite tedious because you have to go and harvest all your items, whether it be prospecting rocks or metal, collecting wood or farming for food and so on. However, for those that like the grind and want the satisfaction of creating their own equipment and such, then this is your time to shine. Now, there's a lot to unpack when it comes to crafting in Lotro, but I won't dump all of it on you right away. I'll give you just enough to get started. Now, you can't pick out a vocation right off the start. You must first get past your starter areas, such as Air Luin, the Shire, and Archette. Once you play through the initial starter quests and move out to the wider world, you'll be able to find the Masters or Mistresses of Apprentices, who will help you select your vocation. For each starter area, the Master or Mistress of Apprentices are located in Combe. Just turn right after coming into Combe from Archette and look for the Crafting Hall. Also in Bree, the Three Pharaoh Crafting Hall. In Arid Luin, they are located in Gondiman, Kellendim, Crafting Terrace, Thorns Gate, the Crafting Hall, and in Thorns Hall, the Maker's Hall. Then finally in the Shire, in Mickle Delving's Craft Fair. Once you find the Master or Mistress, click on them and you'll be able to select whatever crafting vocation you want. Now, like I said in my last video, when it comes to crafting, it would be best to choose a vocation that would benefit your character. Now, each vocation has three sub-professions that fall under their respective vocation. For example, if you chose the armor vocation, the three sub-professions that fall under that are Prospector, Metalsmith, and Tailor. So let's look at each vocation and all the sub-professions. For Armorer, you have Prospector, Metalsmith, and Tailor. For Armsman, you get Prospector, Weaponsmith, and Woodworker. For Explorer, you get Forester, Prospector, and Tailor. A Historian comes with Farmer, Scholar, and Weaponsmith. A Tinker comes with Prospector, Cook, and jeweler. A woodsman comes with farmer, forester, and woodworker. And then a yeoman comes with farmer, cook, and tailor. Now, near the supplier is also a novice level crafting vendor. They are stationed near the assorted workplaces that are needed to engage in crafting tasks. Between the vendor and supplier, you'll have all you'll need to get started in crafting as long as you have enough money for everything. Each craft has certain requirements. Just like cooking, they have recipes, ingredients, and specific tools needed. Each craft requires a recipe, a tool to harvest the raw materials, and a crafting facility, whether that be a forge, farmlands, a study, a workbench, or a campfire or oven. Now, obviously, as you continue to craft things, you'll get points, which will add up to you gaining more levels and being able to craft better items with much better stats. Now, let's go over recipes. You have basic recipes, which each level has available to you once you reach that level. Then you have vendor recipes, where you can purchase guild recipes, reputation recipes, dropped recipes that you get from killing various creatures, and single-use recipes that, once used, are gone. As far as your raw materials for your recipes, it depends on the item you are crafting and what vocation you chose. For the more weaponsmith, armorer, woodworkers, and jewelers type crafters, you'll need to go out and harvest your raw materials from either downed limbs or metal deposits. The cooks will have to actually go to a designated farm, which, if you go around the farmlands, around the towns, and check your minimap, you'll notice gold anvils over some of the farmlands. This is for you to use to grow your crops. All needed resources for crafting will be in or around any major town in the region that you are currently in. Now. The starter tools you get when you first start crafting are quite brittle and should be upgraded immediately. Go and check with the local supplier for better tools as soon as you are able to purchase them. Now, when it comes to levels or proficiency of crafting, there are 14 levels, but by the time you get to the third or fourth, 
you won't need me to go over it anymore. So, the tiers are Apprentice, Master Apprentice, Journeyman, Master Journeyman, Expert, and Master Expert. Each level requires a certain number of points to master and then move on. You'll see an empty bronze anvil as you are working towards proficiency, and then a filled bronze anvil once you reach proficiency, and then a filled bronze anvil and an empty gold anvil when you are working towards mastery, and then both anvils filled once you reach mastery. Now, this is all tracked in your crafting panel that is on your toolbar if you ever feel the need to check it. Now, one more thing before I lease you upon Middle-earth to craft your life away, is that you are able to change your vocation at any time. However, you will have to start from scratch if you do change your vocation. Just keep that in mind. This is why a lot of longtime Lotra players have several characters on many accounts so that they are able to craft anything that they need for endgame content. Now, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and we'll try to help you as best we can. Now, y'all get out there and get crafting. Welcome to crafting. Gosh, are you. F Welcome to crafting? Okay. Welcome to Claft. Oh my gosh, are you clafting? For goodness sake.